Good evening. As we go to air tonight, a fresh case of the deadly coronavirus has emerged in Sydney. A young Chinese woman has tested positive for the disease and there are now calls for the federal government to take drastic measures to contain a potential outbreak. A flight from Beijing to Sydney, hundreds of people arriving in Australia from a country overwhelmed by a health disaster. Now confirmation a fresh case of coronavirus in Australia, a young Chinese woman in Sydney whose preliminary tests have shown up as positive for the disease, leaving our country with five people who are known to be infected. But we're still understanding this virus fully. Emergency testing is being done on a number of people in Victoria too. At our borders, no screenings, just a pamphlet about coronavirus for incoming passengers. Just a piece of paper. Health authorities scrambling to contain a potential outbreak. I, I think more needs to be done. Frankly, Australia should wake up. 43 flights arrived in Australia from China today, including Beijing, Shanghai, Kunming, Taipei, Guangzhou, Qingdao and Chongqing. Thousands of people from cities with active outbreaks. We need to have officials asking questions about where these people have come from and where they intend going as well. We also need to be conducting thermal screening. Because symptoms don't develop for up to two weeks, the government says mass screening would be futile. We are incredibly well prepared to isolate and deal with that and to prevent any transmission. Victoria has a fully staffed, dedicated coronavirus hotline while potential patients in Sydney are being directed to a phone number if they feel unwell. But it's only open during business hours. You have reached the Infectious Diseases Team at the Northern Sydney Public Health Unit. Our office is currently unattended. New South Wales Health insists there's always a public health official on call, but are now pointing concerned people Don't to a different 24-hour health line. In China, the situation is dire. <laughs> Unverified snapshots are emerging on social media. Here, a potentially infected person is forcibly put into an ambulance. <laughs> Nurses being taught how to suit up, but their fear is palpable, with 56 dead and more than 2,000 infected. Concerns too, the Chinese government isn't letting on how widespread the virus is. <laughs> The Communist Party disputes this, but President Xi Jinping has conceded it's a grave situation. And Chris is with me in the studio tonight. Chris, with school going back this week, what steps are being taken to protect children? Well, Peter, the Department of Education has sent emails to every school principal telling them about the potential threat of coronavirus. In some cases, letters have been sent to parents to warn them about the symptoms, especially if they have recently travelled to China. Now, the Foreign Minister has also said that it will be very difficult to get any Australian citizens out of Wuhan, the epicentre of this disease, given the Chinese government has locked it down. Our government acknowledges that that might be hard for friends and family, but outside of consular support inside China, Peter, there's not much they can do. OK, Chris, thank you.